Today we're going to fix my Solo 3DR. This thing has been giving me the solid orange light on the drone and it won't let me factory reset and the controller just says waiting for Solo and nothing will happen. I can't pair it, I can't reset it, nothing's going on. The gimbal is responding when it's on, but other than that, it seems pretty dead. So we're gonna take it apart today, take out the SD card, clean it and put it back in and Spoiler alert, this does work. So the internet has some people with you just take it out and put it back in, it will work. Some people have to actually reflash the images on there. I was lucky enough to be the person that just had to take it in, take it out and put it back in. So the first thing we're gonna do here is, I already did this, so I'm actually not gonna do this part, but it's pretty basic. And I took other videos. So this little top part right here is going to slide up and out. Now there's other tabs in there as well, so be careful. So there's like a tab right here, right here, and there's a tab on the bottom right here. You're literally just gonna take your fingernail and lift it out and then push it out. Once you do that, that's going to expose three more screws. So you're gonna to wanna to take out this screw, this screw, this screw, this screw, and there's gonna be one, two, three in here as well. And that's going to lift out this entire tray right here. Now, this part is not attached, so when you go to take it out, you're just gonna slide it this way a little bit and then up. Um, on here, there is some paper hiding some other screws. Don't mess with anything on here. You don't need to do anything there. Once you get that off, we're going to expose the board. Now the board is as wide as this whole thing. And what we're gonna wanna do with it is we're gonna wanna tilt it up this way. So if this is the board, we're going to tilt it this way because the SD card is going to be right about where the edge of my thumb is. So to be able to do that, we need slack in the wire. So you're gonna to have to take off the number three and the number two motor mounts. And to do that, you go under here, you pop this little guy off from the bottom. So the bottom comes out first. And then there are, there's no light here, three screws there and one screw there that you're going to take off. And this is going to come off. So you need to do that for the number three and the number two. And I'll show you how to take that off here in just a minute. One thing when you're disconnecting these pods after you've unscrewed them, the two up here, they pop off at that contact point and at that contact point. It's a male and a female. Don't pull straight from the source here. And then with this back guy, this one was pretty tricky and the service manual says to be very careful with this. So I'm gonna show you guys what I did. I'm gonna grab my screwdriver. All right, come on, focus. So I took my screwdriver in between here and just this is like the smallest little flathead you can get. Come on, focus. And just sit here and pry it. You just twist it like this. Go down here and twist it. Right here, twist, go all the way down and you gotta twist all the edges. You can't just yank this one out. It's very fragile. So my phone can't stay on focus for some reason. Don't yank that out. As you can see, my 3DR Solo is completely disassembled. I took off all of the motor pods and flipped the motherboard up as it the service manual specifies. And the SD card is located right here. I took it out. So it's right underneath there. So if you're looking at the board, the U-shaped cutout is on this side. So this is the back of the drone, it says Solo up here. And it is on the left side, and it's just under this little motherboard that's connected, and it goes right in there. I did have to remove the number two leg because it has this antenna in it, and I will show you how to remove that. So I wanted to see if I could keep the, these two motor pods, the number four and the number one, uh, if I could keep those attached, if I ever need to take this apart again, it looks like you can. So you have plenty of clearance here on the wiring, both sides, and this fits in like this. So you can see that those connections 
as long as it's right there, which we have plenty of room there. They're both clearing perfectly. I'm going to attempt to get this board back in here without breaking anything. So like I said, it... <clears throat> the thing is when you're moving this, it always feels like something's caught up. Like right now it was. <laughs> this, in, this little uh, indent over here really screws me up because I always forget and it clips onto everything. So, that way, okay. So once you get it in, you're gonna to wanna to push it down in that way and you wanna line that little indicator up to the piece over there. That's what I wasn't doing right. Yeah, so when you're putting it in, you just wanna do obviously exactly opposite of how taking it out. Um, put it in here and you slide it in. It won't drop until you kinda of slide that over 